Welcome to Big Meadows Campground. Elevation 3,598 feet. When you first arrive, this is your campground office. This is where you're going to want to register. And if they're closed, you, there's a little box over there. I'll show you that in a second. Where you can actually register late. So this is where you're going to get your self-registration envelopes. They usually have them on this one. A scrap piece of paper and a campground map. Which I'll go ahead and grab one of these so I can make a photo of it for you. So you can actually see it. If you're going to call or make reservations online, do it before you get up here because unless you're using a good mobile booster, there is no communications up here hardly at all. <laughs> Every day they, put, they post the uh, weather update here so you can see how the weather is going to be. Like today, showers with afternoon thunderstorms if you arrive between the hours of 8 a.m to 6 p.m the rangers should be here uh, the camp hosts also work in here also so that's always a good thing they're very big on don't let a good bear go bad this is where you'll pick up your firewood and if you want to take showers <clears throat> they've got nice showers they're all coin operated this is the standard shower and this is the handicap shower or family shower they have laundry facilities here so you can wash your clothes and dry your clothes they've also got a little camp store Sorry, I can't get you very good of a shot in there, but it's got the odds and ends, flip-flops, spare, spare stuff. But they have, and they have a cold drink machine, which you got to check this out. They don't have Dr. Pepper, but they have Dr. Wythe? Wythe? I don't know. I don't know what that is. But. This is an old school here. This is pretty cool. Look at that. There's April's favorite. Mm -hmm. And there's my cute little favorite right there. <laughs> the 
these are your loops a b c d and that way and it says i but there's two eyes here so but this the eye is only for the tent sites this is the campground host You are allowed to have generators, but you can't use them in sites A58 through A70. And then there's another loop that you can't use them in, which is B loop. So you can go almost anywhere else and you're allowed to use generators, but only between the hours of 8 in the morning till 10 in the morning, and then 4 in the afternoon to 7 in the afternoon. This is one of the walk-in tent sites. Now they're a walk-in, but if you if you drove, you, you can park over here, come around here, and you can walk right into your campsite. This is your basic tent site. You have a fire ring, picnic table, and a bear box. Of course, you get your tent pad site. Now, none of these sites here have water and electric, except for the camp hosts. But there are hydrants, water hydrants, located throughout the park in case you need water. This is one of the bathrooms here. Modernized. Looks nice. So this is the males. females is probably exactly the same except for instead of a urinal there's a second sit down stall these are more or less the standard RV slash tent sites so if you have a tent you can park it in the open spot behind it park your vehicle here Campering and picnic table. Now you'll notice some of these have reservable. Actually, a lot of these will have reservable. But there are two loops here that you don't need reservations for and are basically a first come, first serve. The two loops are the I loop, I is in India, and C is in Charlie loops. Those are first come, first serve, and they are not reservable, which is nice because th if this place is sold out, you still have a really good chance of getting yourself a spot. They provide trash cans here, dumpsters, uh, recycling, and for your ashes. So you can dump your ashes out before you leave. Which is pretty cool. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's tent sites way back there. Those are your tent sites, 27 through 34.
This is site E190. If you can get this site, you've got a awesome view of the mountains through some trees. This is site one, or excuse me, E-183. If you can get this site, you wake up to this every morning. And right now, the sun is rising right around that area right there. And this trail right below you is the Appalachian Trail. And if you want a pull through site, this is a huge site. It's E181. It's a pull through site. The only bad thing is if you're going to have a campfire or want to sit and eat, you can be right here next to the road. So that's the only bad thing, but the views make up for that. Sunrise, again, is over in that direction. Beautiful place. This is the eye loop. This is for people that don't have reservations. It's first come, first serve. We're in site I-223, and these sites are long basically you get from here all the way to the other end just about where that little sign right there is we have a picnic table A fire pit. The neat thing with this fire pit is that top half folds up and over so you can get your fire started right here, get your coals, flip this up and over, and then you can cook on the grill. And our campground hosts are right there. That's our campground hosts, and there's the bathroom. On the opposite side, is one of the water hydrants. And this is literally the strongest water hydrant I've ever seen. <laughs> they literally have to put rocks under it because that thing will probably cut through the mountain. <laughs> so, I hope you like the brief walking tour of the of the place it's a really neat place really beautiful especially the sunrise sunsets here are just beautiful what do you think oh yeah absolutely gorgeous there's a lot of birds here right now this time of year singing and very colorful ones yeah we actually have a we've actually got a little birdie it has been here every single day once in the morning, once in the afternoon. It'll just bounce around down here on the ground. It tries to get whatever bugs it can find, but it'll come right up, literally right up to you within, I'd say about a foot or two. And it, do it doesn't bother it at all. So, and it's what you'll find out here. And if you want a beautiful overlook spot, I'll show you a little video clip of it. That is right up the Appalachian Trail, sitting leading right over here. It goes up and around this little mountain. There's a beautiful, beautiful shot you can get from over there, of the valley. So, about a 
So I hope y'all enjoy this. If you're new to the channel, why not hit that subscribe button? Never know uh, when, when or where you might see us again. So, until next time, y'all stay safe out there.